Good morning. Good morning. Y'all, I hope y'all ready today. We about to have a real conversation. So good morning. If you're joining me live, let me know. If you're watching the replay, give me a flame. I am Banda Glass from Michigan and I am coming to you live. Sweat and all. I haven't even taken my shower yet, so I'm coming on here earlier than normal. And we're going to have a real rise and shine moment today. So good morning. If you're jumping on here, let me know. So I'm pretty fired up, so I'm going to make this disclaimer to begin with that this live might not be for everybody. And God really laid it on my heart today. Um, I actually went to sleep last night, you guys, listen, and I was like, I need, I need to just talk from my heart. It's Transparency Tuesday. I'm real. If you come to my page, I believe in being real. So today is a real conversation. Um, you know, I, I get on here and I talk every day about rise and shine. Like, my whole mission is for you to get up. I think so many times we're living in our past. We're living in our circumstances today, and they might not be the best, right? We're, we're living in such junk. And honestly, you guys, I don't want to be an inspirational. People ask me, like, are you a motivational speaker? No, I'm not. Like, today I really woke up. You probably can hear it in my voice. Like, I literally cried myself to sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> so you all gonna get the real deal today good morning good morning thanks for jumping on so <clears throat> I think back so I, I, I woke up this morning and actually I go to burn boot camp and I think about that like number one when I go to burn boot camp he doesn't let me off the hook right so we have it's like a it's like a group setting but it's like a personal trainer because they walk around making sure you're doing everything the right way and all that y'all listen I go there because I want to become better, right? I don't like going. I'm going to be real. I don't like going to burn boot camp. When I wake up, it's like my, my first thought is like, uh. but when I get there and it's not easy, I'm not looking for a coach to let me off the hook. I'm looking for a coach to be like, you got it, Dana. Now we're going to do a little bit more and we're going to do a little bit more. And I'm, I'm watching my social media lately. I'm going to start unfriending people, honestly, because here's the thing. What you surround yourself with, you guys, if you have a choice on social media, you get to delete, delete, delete. And I don't even care if they're family members, quite honestly. If you're negative and you're going to drain my energy, I'm deleting you. Because here's the thing. When I go to burn boot camp, I ask myself, like, I go there knowing it's going to be hard. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Why do we let ourselves off so easy? Like, I'm really going to fire up today. So I woke up and I'm like, you know what, Jesus? Thank you. Thank you for my hard times because it made me who I am today. I'm tenacious. I keep getting back up. And I get on here and I watch people wallow and they're wallowing and they're wallowing in the same spot. Do you want to be in the same spot a year from now? I hope this live comes up on your timeline and on my timeline to remind us, like, listen, I don't want to surround myself with people that sit in the same spot. I want to be around people that are rebounders. Like, we are getting up. You know what? We're going to fight for our families. We're going to do the thing. You sit at a job you're miserable at, and you bitch and moan on Facebook about it, but you do nothing. You know, I know it's not easy. I was a single mom for many, many years. I had to have responsibility. I get that. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you all something. It made me who I am today. Because in the background, I was doing something I wanted to do. I was hustling. I was going to college. I was doing a side business, trying to get myself better so I could get to a point where I could do the things I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm burning it up today, y'all. Listen, because here's the thing. I don't want you to come on my page and be inspired I don't want you to just see motivational quotes. I want you to take action. I want you to say, you know what? I'm giving up my excuses. I'm giving up all the things I'm wallowing in. I don't want to be around people that are just getting by. I'm going to be very honest. And I thought about this when I was sitting in church because, listen, the, he brought up about the spies. If you don't know that story, God brought his, his people, his people out of bondage. And he says, listen. I got big things for y'all. It was an 11 day journey that turned into 40 years. You know why? Because the people they surrounded themselves with, the people, what happened is 12 spies go over. Now listen, I want you guys to, I want you to hear this. God has promised land on this earth. It's not just about when you get to heaven. He, he's got abundance for you now. He's got the right woman, the right man. He's got the, you know, the right job, the right business, whatever it is for you. He has it. But you know what? 
Just like the promised land, there were spies they had to go over because there was giants. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have things come up. You know what, you guys? And you, you, here's what we do. We hide. Be like, oh, this isn't for me. The first sign of, you know, the first sign. Like, when I go to burn, I sometimes I do want to be like, oh, my God, here we go, right? But why do I go? I go because I want to be better. And the only way I'm going to get better is having the right coach. Having the right people around me doing the same thing, right? So these 12 spies go over. This is what I want you to pick up today. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Because I'm telling you right now, my circle is going to get real small because I want people with abundant mindset that say, you know what? I don't care where we're at today, but we moving, girl. Let's go. I want to talk about things that are different, right? I want our, our mindsets to be elevated. I want us to be growing. You know what, y'all? You could read all the books in the world. Look it. You could have all the journals in the world. This is what it says. Philippians 4.13. God, I could do all things through Christ. We say all these things, we surround ourselves with these things, but are we taking action? No, because when it gets hard, just like the spies, are you going to wander for 40 years? Are you going to die with the gifts that God gave you because it was hard? Because you had obstacles? Because you had giants? So 12 spies go over. 10 of them said, we can't do this. Now, mind you, God had already told them, I got you. I got you. Now, it's not going to be easy. Nothing in this life is easy. Man, today when I woke up, I said, thank you, Jesus. I went through some really bad things because you know what? I'm tenacious today. I don't give up. I'm like the energizer bunny that just keeps going and going. You know why? Because I went through hard times. It didn't just happen. Because you know what? My faith increased because I seen God working in my life in some miraculous ways. I went from 10 cents to six figures. That wasn't just Dana Glass. That's because I went through the doors that he opened. I was willing. I was open. Two of those spies said, we got it. God has us. Two out of 12. Two. Because guess what happened? When they went back to the people, the 10 the 10 that didn't believe, the 10 that God already told them they had it, but it wasn't going to be easy. You're going to have to slay some giants. You're going to have to slay some obstacles, but I got you. The 10 talked the whole group. Now, mind you, there were probably thousands and millions. I mean, I've heard different things, how many people there really were, right? The 10. So guess what? They didn't get the promise land. An 11 day journey turned to 40 years, but the two that believed got to stay around until they all died off. They had to watch them all die off. Then they got their promise. Here's what I do know. Who are you surrounding yourself with? I want to be one of the two. I want to, so I guess it's the few I'm thinking, right? The few, because we're getting sucked in to social media and all the things and we're doing nothing. We're doing nothing with our lives. Two, man, you guys, who are you surrounding yourself with? What are you, who's your coach? You know what? If I go in and I say, well, Ray, I don't really feel like doing that today. Do you know he's going to look at me like, what? What? No, he doesn't. He's like, girl, you can push a little harder. Girl, let's do a heavier weight. Girl, that's the kind of coach I want in my life. And I have one. Like, thank God she's helping me to realize that I can't sit here. I can't sit in this past. I can't sit in the same spot. I want to grow. I don't, I want to read the books, but I want to apply them to my life. I want to do the things, right? I want to elevate. Who are you associating with? Because who you are, you're going to elevate by that, right? Find the spy that's one of the two. That says, girl, let's go. Uh, it's going to be hard. We're going to have bloody knees. We're going to do all the things. And we're going to feel discouraged. But we're going to keep going. Y'all, listen. Here's the thing. I'm going to talk to you women for a minute. It's because I love you. I, I hate seeing people sit in the same spot. I, it, I struggle with it. I really, really do. And some of it, you get to choose. If you want to choose to sit there, you know what? That's on you. But for me and my house, we ain't sitting in here. We ain't sitting like this anymore. We're going to believe that God has greatness right today. He has abundance today. Not when I get to heaven. Today. Today. So here's the thing, you guys. Us women, we get caught up in our emotions and our feelings, right? We're, we're just, oh, this doesn't feel good or I'm depressed or I'm this. Sister, listen. Life is hard. Life is hard. You are going to work. You are taking care of those kids. You are doing all the things. But what about you? 
When those kids leave your house, I'm going to tell y'all something. Who are you? Who are you? That's all I got today, y'all. I hope someone was inspired. If you if you were inspired, tag a friend, share. I don't care. You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't play anymore. I'm I'm at a point in my life. I'm 52 years old. I can't play. Like I'm not gonna just sit and wallow in the same spot. I'm moving. I'm going to my promised land. Who's coming with me? Put in the comments if you're done wallowing in your excuses in your current circumstances and you're going to the promised land. I want to know who my people are. Love you. Smooches.